Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is again for all of you freshers out there. So if you don't know by now, UKG is hiring for software engineers and they are accepting applications from freshers as well. So this is a great opportunity for all of you freshers who are looking for a job with no experience. And let me tell you, UKG is a great company to work at. So in this video, we'll be talking about the opening. We'll be talking about the eligibility because that confuses a lot of people. I just keep getting comments who all are eligible. So we'll be talking about the eligibility and we'll be talking about how you can get your resume shortlisted and eventually crack the interview. So let's get started. Now, just a quick reminder that I make videos about off-campus hirings, openings and guides on how to crack them on a daily basis. So if you're a fresher or a college student looking for a job or an internship, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because as soon as there's an off-campus opening, I will be making a video on it. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos so that you don't miss out on any opportunities. Now, coming back to this opening, the UKG opening, like I said, they are hiring for software engineers and let's get eligibility out of the way first, right? So the eligibility here is 2025 graduates or before. So if you are graduating in 2025 or if you graduated before that in 2024, 2023, then you are eligible for this. So this is the perfect opportunity for 2025 graduates. Now, a lot of people ask about the degree. So what they have mentioned it as bachelor's degree in computer science, technology, IT or engineering or any related field. Okay. So if you have bachelor's degree in technology, CS, IT or any other related field, you are eligible if you have graduated in 2025. Okay. I hope that clears it for the eligibility. But if you still have any doubt, then please ask me in the comments. I'll be sure to clarify it there. Now let's get to the most important part that is getting your resume shortlisted. So I keep getting a lot of messages from people saying that they are applying, but their resume is not getting shortlisted. And there can be multiple reasons for that. The primary reason is that your resume is not passing through their filtration system because you're not having the relevant keywords, you're not having the relevant material that they want. So what is that? What do you need to put in your resume? Let's talk about that. And this is going to be very important. So first thing, starting off with the basics, you need to have any one programming language. You need to show them that you have expertise in any one programming language. Now, their preferences are in C++, Java, JavaScript, and Python. So if you have one of these programming languages in your resume, then well and good. That will give you a bit of edge over other programming languages because these are their preferences. Okay. Now, after the programming language, the most important part of your resume is going to be your projects because as a fresher, the most important section of your resume is your projects. So what kind of projects do you need to have? What kind of projects will give you an edge? So if you have a front end project or a back end project or a full stack project, then that will give you a bit of edge. Okay. So if you have either of these three, either if you work with front end in your projects or back end or full stack, then well and good, that will give you a bit of an edge. Okay. If you have other projects like data and all that is also fine, but front end, back end or full stack, these domain will help you a bit more. Now, about the tech stacks, if you want to know, then any tech stack is fine. In backend, if you work with Java, Spring Boot, if you work with Node.js, that is fine. If in front end, if you work with React.js, then that will give you a bit of edge because React.js is an in-demand framework. So either if you work with MERN stack or if you work with Java full stack, both are fine. Both will give you a bit of an edge because UKG works with these technologies. Okay. So again, to remind you, front end, back end, or full stack projects, well and good. That is going to be the best case scenario if you have projects related to that. Now, apart from projects, there are certain keywords that you need to have in your resume if you want to pass through the filtration system. The projects are important. Make sure you have high quality projects. You don't have any clone project. Make sure you have high quality, good idea projects. And if you want some project ideas, then I've made a dedicated video in which I've given you some project ideas that you can use for making full stack projects, right? But apart from projects, you have certain keywords that you need to put in your resume. Okay. So what I will be doing, I'll be giving you a list of keywords in the description box that you can put in your resume to increase your chances of getting shortlisted through the like initial round, the initial screening round, right? So you can put these keywords in your resume, but let me remind you, do not put anything in your resume that you're not confident about because you will end up getting rejected in the interviews or in the further rounds, right? So what I suggest when I say, put this keyword in your resume, what I am suggesting is learn about it and then put it in your resume. Okay. 
you can learn something and put it in your resume to match with the GD, but do not put anything that you're not confident about that will get you in trouble. Now, apart from that, if you want to go down the route of referral, then three things are very important. You need to do these three things while you're asking for referral. What are these three things? The first, upload your resume to Google Drive and send the link of that drive while asking for referral. Number two, send the role ID or the job ID, whatever is there, you can find it in the description box along with the link to apply. Send that. And number three, add a couple of introductory lines about yourself, about why you're suited for the role, if you've achieved anything and who you are, like a couple of lines, nothing like a paragraph, a couple of lines. Do these three things. This is the holy trio while you're asking for referral. Okay. These three are the most important things. Now, after you do all of this, like whatever I've said, if you make your resume according to that, then you will have a great chance of getting shortlisted. And of course, after getting shortlisted, the next thing that you'll have to come across are going to be the interviews. So the interviews at UKG are not going to be too difficult. They're going to be in, around the medium range. What I will be doing, I'll be giving you some interview experiences in the description box so you can have a look. In fact, I have also made a podcast with an employee of UKG who has very recently cracked UKG. So you can see that video as well. In that video, he has explained everything very well, like what were the type of interviews, what all did he face, what type of problems were, were. he has explained everything well. The link to that video along with other interview experiences will be in the description box. So watching that will give you an idea of how the interview process is going to be and basically what all you can expect from the interview. But in a nutshell, it's going to be about your projects, about your resume, about your CS fundamentals, core concepts of programming. And apart from that, you'll have a little bit of DSA as well. Now DSA is not going to be too difficult. It's going to be around medium or medium hard range. It's not going to be easy either. Around medium to medium hard, it's going to be. So I'll be giving you plenty of resources in the description box that you can study from and that you can learn from. So everything that you need is in the description box. Make sure that you prep your resume carefully. Make sure that you prep for the interviews carefully and surely you'll be able to clear this. And even if you're not able to, do not worry about it. I'll be bringing a lot more of campus opportunities on a daily basis so that you have plenty of opportunities. Okay. All you need to do is subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubt, go through the description box. And let me know if you need anything else. I'll be happy to answer you in the comments. And yeah, let's see you in the next one.